to draw this beaver, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. That's it. We're going to start off with a large circle drawn very lightly in pencil in the centre of the page. So remember this circle does not have to be particularly perfect, it's just kind of a rough shape. You can draw around a glass or use a compass or whatever. Or if you want, I've got a tutorial and I'll put a link in the description below on how to draw circles freehand easily. So just check that out below afterwards. There we go, so here's a nice vaguely circular shape. There we go. Next we're going to be drawing an oval shape just here to the right hand side and this is going to be the head. So let's draw a head here. And then it's quite a squished oval shape. So this was a request from Macro Microbe. So here you are, another YouTuber. Excellent, so that'll be the head. Just really roughly. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. There's no harm in going back. Okay, now for the ear, which is just like a C shape here. There we go. And then I'm going to join this oval to this circle. So just with a curved line like this. Now for the little eye, just roughly about here. Remember, we're just doing the preparatory shapes right now. Now for the arm. So it's going to be a shape just coming out, protruding out like this. And then it comes down. And then we're going to add like a little hand, little paw. I was going to say a little hand. Little paw on the end here. Now one viewer asked me to do measurements. So I don't typically measure my drawings, but I'm going to do this. Uh, because I had a request to do it. So this big circle has a diameter of eight centimeters and this oval shape is four and a half, just so that you get kind of a rough idea of the dimensions. Okay, now for the tail. This is gonna be down here. There we go. Big leathery tail, just down here. Okay, I'm switching to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see the details better on camera. I'm going to start off with the head and I'm going to do the nose first. So, shape like this for the nose. And the little nostril, just like that. And then I'm gonna draw the rest of the head so that you can see it. there and then it joins the back I'm just going to draw long kind of flowing lines to show that it's furry and then now for the muzzle area so the little mouth comes in like that it's got its mouth open just ready to eat something just going to shade in the inside of the mouth there we go, just like that. And then now for the little eye. There we go. I'm gonna leave a little area just white so that it looks like the light's reflecting off it. And then there's a line that just comes down around like this and then a series of dotted lines here to show where the whiskers are. Now for the ear. So, starts here and then it joins our C shape that we did before. And then the inside part like this. And then it's much darker inside so I'm just going to shade it in a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to add some kind of fur, some whispers. Whispers? <laughs> Some wispy lines, I meant to say, just like this. There we go. Coming round. And then the little paw. So 
just carrying on with these wispy lines coming all the way down and then going inwards just like that now for the little paw just putting something into its mouth. There we go. With the back, following this circular shape that we did before. And then these lines are getting progressively longer. And getting longer. All the way to the tail. So the tail it can grow up to 15 inches long and while swimming it acts as a rudder or also kind of as a warning to other beavers. Uh, if they see a predator or something then they'll flap it against the water and make a big noise. And then on land it acts kind of like a counterweight if uh, the beaver's carrying something really really heavy like some timber or something like that. So they've got many uses, these tails. So I'm just drawing another line, give it a bit of depth. I'm going to carry on with the furry bits. Comes inwards. Like that, and then the tummy. And then the other foot just peeping out from behind here. So beavers are monogamous and I can't even say that. And they mate for life and they live with their family in a single dam. And as we all know, beavers are incredibly good at building dams and some can be enormous. The world's largest beaver dam stretched for 850 meters. That was found in North Alberta. And it was spotted on a satellite image, but scientists reckon um, that it was made over many generations of beavers that have been working on it for a few decades. Okay, I'm going to add some ground in now. It doesn't look like this beaver's just floating around in the air. There we are. I'm going to add a little bit of shading under here just to show that it's sitting on the ground. And just here. There we go. So if you haven't done it in pen yet, go over it in pen and erase all the pencil markings. Okay, so I've erased all the pencil markings and now it looks a little bit more realistic. So we're just going to add some finishing touches, just adding some shading on places like the pores, just drawing some diagonal lines, just like this, just to show that it's a bit darker. And then also on the, on the other paw down here. And also here on the underside. Just adding a little bit more shading just to show that this area is kind of more in shadow. And down here too. And especially underneath here. So beavers secrete a brown slime from its castor sacs. These are located underneath the tail. It smells like vanilla and it's actually an FDA approved natural flavoring. So you could be eating it. Sounds pretty gross. <laughs> okay, so coming around here. And then a little bit of shading on the top here. It's a bit more in the ears, just around the ears show that the beavers are very, very furry. I'm just going to shade in the nose area a little bit more. Okay. 
and just do a little bit of shading on the tail just using some horizontal lines like this there we go and just around the edges Make it a lot darker underneath. There we go, and we have our finished beaver. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then hit subscribe and like, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Thanks very much to Macro Micro for requesting this one. If you've got any requests at all, pop them in the comments section below. Thanks, bye-bye.